Learning Outcome At the end of this section, you will be able to The Information Processing Cycle The Stages of the Information Cycle Have you ever wondered what happens to the information you put into the computer or how all this processing of information that we spoke about takes place? Well, unknown to all of us, when we enter raw information into the computer via keyboard, mouse, or any input device, the information undergoes a series of steps or stages before it is printed or sent to an output device. The information processing cycle are the steps that are taken to convert raw facts or data into information usable by computers. The four basic operations of the information processing cycle are input, processing, output, and storage. A computer is a machine that performs the information processing cycle. The information processing cycle is referred to as a cycle because after the final stage of processing, everything begins again. Steps of the information processing cycle. Let's examine the cycle closer. To begin the cycle, the original data has to be entered and recorded into the computer in a form that the computer understands. Data can be entered in many ways, such as entering information using a keyboard, a sensor to transfer data onto a magnetic tape or other universal serial bus USB devices, by filling in ovals on a computer-readable paper form in an exam, or by swiping a credit card through a reader at the cashier in a store. Next, the information is processed or altered by the computer through the use of computer software. Then, the information is stored or saved on the computer or storage media so that the user can retrieve or transmit the data if necessary. Finally, the information is available for printing or output, but output does not only occur at the end of the information cycle, but is occurring every time the information being processed shows on the monitor. This storage can be both in the original data entry form and in carefully controlled computer data forms such as magnetic tape. Data are often stored in more than one place for both legal and practical reasons. Computer systems can malfunction and lose all stored data, and the original data may be needed to recreate the database as it existed before the crash. The final step in the information processing cycle is the retrieval of stored information at a later time. This is usually done to access records contained in a database, to apply new information processing functions to the data, or in the event that some part of the data has been lost, to recreate portions of a database. Examples of data retrieval in the information processing cycle include the analysis of stored sales receipts to reveal new consumer spending patterns and the application of new processing techniques to seismic data to locate oil or mineral fields that were previously overlooked. Let's review. Information processing cycle are the steps that are taken to convert raw facts or data into information usable by computers. The four basic operations of the information processing cycle are input, processing, output, and storage. The original data has to be entered and recorded into the computer in a form that the computer understands. Information is processed or altered by the computer through the use of computer software. Information is stored or saved on the computer or storage media so that the user can retrieve or transmit the data if necessary. Finally, the information is available for printing or output, but output does not only occur at the end of the information cycle, but is occurring every time the information being processed shows on the monitor.